Nadia, the brand for your soap is Wangsa Jelita. Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, Wangsa Jelita literally means beautiful dynasty. So um, to develop my own cosmetic brand has been a huge passion for me since I was in high school. And that's also the reason why I took pharmacy as my major. And then I met a group of friends um, with similar interests. And then we decided to conduct natural soap. I'm sorry, to conduct research on natural soap. And then, yeah, we finally started this business and we call it Wangsa Jelita. How do you link up with local rose farmers for your soap? Okay, so uh, we started this business in 2008 and then um, in 2009 we founded some soap formulas and then we want to you know, work closely with our suppliers. Actually back then it's a pure business. We had no idea about the social entrepreneurship and wow. we had no idea about you know, to engage the community. But um, when we want to uh, invent new formula, mm -hmm. we actually want to work with strawberry farmers. Oh. And then accidentally we found this group of rose farmers because uh, we want to meet the expert who was giving a workshop to them. So it was, ac it was pure accident. Uh, and then we found these ladies and these ladies, you know, informal, informal approach and then they talk to us, they tell us the problem with the middlemen, uh, not really the problem but, um, you know, the complexity of relationship between them. They're very dependent to middlemen, but at mm. the same time, middlemen are very helpful to them. Mm. So I don't want to, you know, the, just cut the relationship between the middlemen because they're helpful. Right. But uh, these middlemen, they group the f roses into three groups based on the length of the stem. Ah. So the longest the stem, the most expensive it is. So what I did was to buy the roses with the cheapest price with a fair price and then uh, we didn't stop there because we're thinking that um, we want to give them skills as well mm -hmm. because back, wh back when we met them at the first time they were uh, you know they ended their education at a very early stage most of them ended their education at elementary school and uh, the women in the group of rose farmers they got married at a very very young age and then we were thinking that maybe maybe we cannot you know, change uh, their life now, but at least we can change the next generation, their kids. We really want to give the kids, you know, better education, a better chance, better opportunity. And then um, we also teach them, we, we tell them that Wangsa Jelita produces natural soaps and then we give them skills. So I'm very proud to say that all farmers, all women in the rose farmers, now they can make soap out of roses. So I really expect expect that in the future they can build their own social business as well. So now can I just go to any part of Indonesia and then buy the soap or are there specific shops that I have to go to? Uh, you can buy the soaps online. Ah. So uh, we don't really have this uh, store and we don't put our soaps in a retail market because it's not uh, a good idea because we mm -hmm. need people to be educated. We right. need someone to tell the story and the benefit of the soap. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we use this uh, retailer scheme and also the online because I think the online movement is really, really rapidly now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. are they expensive? Uh, comparing to regular soap, it's slightly more expensive, but comparing to other natural soaps, I think the price is um, uh, slightly the same. Mm -hmm. How much do you sell one for? In Indonesia, it's 25,000, so it's um, about uh, 2.5 US dollar, maybe. 2.5 US dollars. Around mm. that. How's business doing? Uh, it's been growing. Uh, the market is getting bigger. And also, we're actually trying to expand and um, diversify our products. Now, we're not only producing natural bar soap, we're also uh, producing natural liquid soap. Oh. And also we have these partners in, the, um, they have this, this mom and child center, and then we're producing uh, products for the baby spa. So it's, 
it's a very very fun uh, path this now. Mm -hmm. How have the life of the rose farmers improved through working with you? First of all, uh, of course they uh, gain more profit mm -hmm. and then also uh, it's a, actually a long term uh, project because mm -hmm. we really want to invest to their children, to their children's education. Uh, now I'm proud to say that they're, they have a saving account for their children's education. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, I really hope in the future they can, they can make a better, you know, tomorrow and better opportunity for the children. What would you tell other young women around the world about what they should do to follow their ambitions? Just do what you love. When I started Wangsa Jelita, I had no idea that it will grow this big. I mean, I had no idea that I will be here in, in World Economic Forum as one of your uh, global shapers. Just do what you love and then give more meaning of it and then you finally realize that it's actually give some impact to others and if you know that do do the same every day and do more and you'll know that the bigger impact you will create in the end mm -hmm. so i think yeah start with what you love mm -hmm.